Hey everyone, got ourselves a nice sunny Saturday here. Fortunately, it's only mid 20s. We weren't fortunate enough to get the mid 60s weather that we had earlier this week. Mother Nature just wasn't feeling that. But it's still a sunny and dry weekend, so I'm gonna take advantage of it. I recently released a video about me picking some parts on a fox body in my favorite wrecking yard. I'm actually going to take a trip down there today. Had a lot of response on that video as to where it was and also some of you on YouTube and also Instagram reaching out looking for some particular parts. So I figured I'd take a trip down there for you guys check out those parts that were specifically asked for and also give you a little walk around as well in that video i purposely didn't release the name or location of that wrecking yard i didn't have a chance to actually speak with my friend and his dad who owned the yard ahead of time so i didn't want to proceed with publicizing before given approval there spoke with them and they're more than happy for me to let you guys know where they're at, their name, and, and also kind of push their business along as well. So, so you guys are aware, it is Brown's Auto Wreckers in Hastings, Ontario. Just between Hastings and Campbellford. I will put a little map screenshot up here so you guys can see. So today, I'm gonna take a peek at one of you reach out on Instagram, building a 68 Mustang Coupe. Had a little bit of behind the scenes information on that build. It's looking really, really cool so far. It's gonna be a resto mod, full custom fabricated front and rear subframes, independent rear suspension, Viper rear center section, I believe C6 suspension off a of Corvette, so it should handle quite well, have a lot of modern ride quality. I'm hoping to be able to do a feature for you guys on that car coming up, so stay tuned. In the meantime, we'll check out what's going on here. I'll do a little yard walk around and uh, we'll go from there. I'll catch up when we get there. Today, I'm not gonna take advantage of my Little yard car, I'm gonna do the little walk myself. It's a nice day out, a little breezy, but kind of give you guys a better view of the yard here. As you can see, there's actually some van bodies in the background. We got some cars tucked back in there. Some, uh, there is a Fox body, 85, with throttle body injection. And also, there appears to be a 50s Ford sitting in one of those as well. I'll roll by those a little closer on the way back. We've got main section of the yard here. A lot of the Ford stuff's up here. There's some Crown Vicks, some newer Mustangs. Uh, we got a lot of Dodge section down there. And the fun part down in the pit up here. So I will wander over there. You can see a little bit of a stack of cars here as well. That, six months ago, used to extend out to here and be 15 cars high. So they've definitely cleared some stuff out as well as this whole region here used to be rows and rows. So they've tried to liquidate some of the not so useful stuff, but I do appreciate that they hang on to a lot of the extreme classics which we're coming up on in a moment here. So we've got the beginning here, an old Dodge car, tow truck, old Ford van with some vintage looking fenders in the back of it actually. And here we come up on the Fox bodies. And it looks like there's actually been an addition to the area since I was last here. This gray coupe used to be over in the normal Ford row it was super, super tidy looking before it got crossed, I'm sure. The only rust that seems to be on it is where
where it's actually damaged. So it got hit pretty hard, potentially rolled over. Very unfortunate for a coupe. And since then it's sat, it started to blister out some more in the strut towers. It does look like another good K-frame there though, but I already got the one out of this car. That uh, was a good donor for me. We've got some older ones here. And then actually, uh-oh, it looks like we've got some missing along here. I know one of you guys had asked for some four eye stuff, so I'm gonna take a look around here, see what I can find, and I will get back at you after that. So I thought I was gonna have to retract one of my previous statements from my other video that they don't get rid of anything here out of the pit. I found some of the cars that were previously over there just got relocated. We're all good. Unfortunately, the items that the one viewer was looking for no longer present in that one it's been hanging around for quite a while there was another burnt car as well uh i don't know where it's went but i feel like that was a four ride there are a couple aero cars up there that are burnt as well unfortunately the parts the viewer was looking for are not the same another person had reached out to me about parts for the classic mustang which i had mentioned earlier they were looking for a section above the a pillar on the roof skin for the driver's side unfortunately this one's in about the same kind of condition or very mildly better than what they currently have so that one's not going to work out looks like i'm striking out today i'm going to take a little wander there may be another one around here but i'll have to see and while i'm wandering around i'll do a little b-roll for you guys just a little viewing of some of the really cool cars that are hanging out here i apologize for all the wind on today's video uh, down in the pit it's kind of a little bit better here and there but it's breezier than i thought
back at these bins on my way out and this is actually the container holding the 85 you see back in there it's been tucked back in hiding for a while uh, I believe there was a death in the family it got given to a son the son really wants nothing to do with it but the owners here have not been able to get a title for it to be able to do anything with it so there it sits. You see all kinds of old cool stuff sitting here. Like when, when do you see a cab over like that? They just, they're not around anymore. Up in this bin here, we have what looks like a galaxy in the background. And then we've got a Falcon Fairlane. Sorry, I'm not as familiar with these cars when not seeing a front clip on them. <laughs> But nevertheless, very, very cool. I'm sure somebody can post up exactly what that is in the comments. Let me know. Gonna get back in the car now. Unfortunately, it wasn't too successful today, but nevertheless, always a cool time going for a wander here and catching up with my friends, Andy and his father, Reg, who owns Brown Auto Records in Hastings, Ontario. Hope you all enjoyed the wander around the yard. There's always something cool to see. Anybody need a mint Pontiac Parisienne? <laughs> the stuff you see here is like nowhere else. There's big rigs from all eras tucked everywhere. There's classic cars. There's 80s cars. So many things tucked in sea cans and other ones that are just parts and pieces out on the yard. I just, I don't get to see anything like that anywhere else in Ontario. I know down in the States, you may have a better chance of seeing stuff like that, but around here, it doesn't exist. Andy's got himself a nice 93 GT from the States. He's had that for 10 plus years. Really, really clean car. Super, super low miles. I wanna say like, under 20,000 miles uh, 10 years ago. I think it had something like maybe 11,000 or 13,000 miles. It was crazy, crazy clean. His dad, multiple 60s galaxies, factory big block cars. They get into K code cars too, or sorry, I believe it's R code for back in the 60s stuff. They get some newer Shelby stuff KR code, GT350s, they had one come in that had 6,000 kilometers, so brand new essentially, 19 year old, ended up wrecking it. I believe he lost his life on that one, so that's really unfortunate on that side. But it is interesting to see the cars come through and find out the stories behind them as well. They had a, I believe it was an R code, Galaxy 500 factory big block car that came in a couple years ago. Every panel on it wrinkled, caved in. Turns out it was next to a building that exploded. Like, you, you don't see these things happen anywhere. So it's always a good time going in there, seeing what's uh, new that's coming on the yard or new projects that they've got into as far as their personal ones. They're Ford through and through, die hard and I definitely appreciate that. Reg has a couple 50s F100s as well. There's a nice 56 from California. Then I believe he had a 54 that was for sale a couple years ago as well. So just tons of variety. I always have a good time. I hope you guys did too. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and tune in for next week.